there, viewers. This is Brian here from Less Magic More Gathering, and we are on week two of our five-part series for Journey to Nick's pre-release kits. Um, so if you're just tune, tune, tuning in uh, at the end of our five weeks, maybe a week or so after that fifth week of our pack opening, we're going to um, pick a winner for this bad boy, possibly two of these, and then maybe some additional cards, some god cards or some good foils that come out of these sets. I'm not sure yet, but we're going to see where we're at for more comments. So all you got to do to be in the drawing for to win this guy at the end of our five-part series is make a comment. You can comment on any of the videos. We're only going to take one per each person to add into our tally or our selection list. So, um, But by all means, comment on every video, like every video, do what you do best as viewers, and um, participate. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this real quick. And we are at Forged in Intellect this week. So that's the blue stuff. I'll crack this open. And... Thanks for all the feedback from the previous week. Got some good comments on there. We got uh, some likes, and um, hopefully we get some some more good stuff for this video as well. So this is the same card as the last one, so it doesn't look like anything's different. And uh, just confirming, I guess. Um, and this one comes with a card that says the Cloak of the Philosopher. This one is a hero artifact equipment also, so equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. And pay two and untap equipped creature, equipped two. So I believe there's a different one in each one of them. I can't even remember what last week's was, but I'm pretty sure it's a different one. This one's actually really cool full. So this is Scourge of Fleets, and this is the pre-release stamped card. Um, you might be able to see that in the glare. I think you can see a little bit of it, but that's a really cool one. So that's a 7-drop creature, Kraken. Kraken! Uh, when Scourge of Fleets enters the battlefield, return each creature your opponent's control with toughness X or less to its owner's hand, where X is the number of islands you control. Okay, then. So we can get a little dirty there. And this one's now, instead of a white... All white colored, um, um, what's the word? Spin down. <laughs> Beyond our journey to Nick's dice in that set. And I didn't open the last one. I uh, can't remember if we got a comment on the video about somebody mentioned that or not. I'll have to go back and check. But so we got that one there, that one there. And of course, like last one, we got two journey to Nick's. One Born of the Gods and two Theros. So that seems to be the going rate here for these kits. Is what we'll have. And the same thing we'll do like we did last time. We'll go to Born of the Gods first. Get my old knife out of the way. It looks dangerous. And we'll jump into Theros and then into Journey to Nyx. <clears throat> so keep the comments coming. Keep the like button. T uh, hitting that like button. Or as a lot of people like to say, smash that like button. I don't care. Oh my gosh. Get out the way, camera. Smashing, whatever you want to call it, just uh, click it. You know, click the like button. It's a click, right? Click. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, definitely comment so you can get in on the drawing. We want to give some stuff, some cool stuff away. We've got Flood Tide Serpent, Rise to the Challenge, Griffin Dreamfinder, Nyxborn Idelion, Charging Badger. Let me get a little bit of more angle onto the camera here. Sudden Storm, Aspect of Hydra. We got Claim of Erebus, Deepwater Hypnotist, and a Nyxborn Shieldmate. On to the Uncommons. Ashiox Adept. Heroic Ability. Siren of the Fanged Coast. <sighs> Glimpse of the Sun God. And our rare is Idelion of the Countless Battles. I like this card. I've got, I think I got a full one of this. Just because it works well in my enchantment deck, um, and it, it's it's hard to not put enchantment creatures, which is what's a lot and right now. You got plenty of them in Theros Beyond Death, as well as obviously the old school Theros. There's enchantment creatures plus Born of the Guts. So these sets that came out, there was a lot of um, enchantment creatures. I'm trying to get my camera to, s to focus in a little bit better, so I can see the card nice and pretty up front. But I don't feel like I want to just cram it in your face, but. Um, my lighting isn't bad. Maybe I'll turn this off, but I'm trying to get a good hue above us without, like, I don't know. Maybe I should just not have that other light on. Maybe that's the problem. All right. So, nonetheless, I deal with countless battles as a three drop enchantment creature, Spirit. Uh, so, it has a bestow ability. So, if you can pay the four for a bestow cost, if you cast this card for its bestow cost, it's an aura spell, which enchant. Uh, with enchant creature, it becomes a creature again if it's not attached to a creature, which I'm not really sure how that works. 
Um, I never did look that up as far as the ability, because normally when you make something an aura and it attaches to a creature, when that creature dies, the aura goes in the graveyard. But in this case, it's a creature's spirit. Does it come back to the field of play as a creature when that other creature dies? How do you technically remove an enchantment from a creature without having that ability to trigger? Somebody needs to tell me, because I should have looked up a while ago, and I never, never did, so I'm just curious. Um, so, and then it says, I deal enough countless battles and enchanted creature. Each get a plus one, plus one for each creature you control, and a plus one, plus one for each aura you control. Stupid sick. So, obviously, it's a zero, zero creature. It comes in the fiddle play. It's a two, two, because you're you're controlling an enchantment, and you're controlling a creature. So, just itself makes it a two, two, I believe. It should work that way. But if you're playing a heavy enchantment deck and you got creatures out there, this thing can come out beefy and nasty. Or if you're giving it as a bestow cost to something else, it makes it beefy and nasty. So I like this card. I really do. And I'm glad I put it in my deck. Uh, so moving on. And a swamp and a sweet little bird token. Woo! Sweet bird token. I don't know. I feel like I'm not as... I don't have as much light. I'd rather have this light on. It's going to get kind of shiny, but I feel like it, it brings me some, some clarity here. I don't know. Don't mind me. I'm nitpicking. Alright, now yeah, we'll leave that left. We'll leave that on top. Our, our rare. I guess I could check to see what the value is of it. Just because I've been doing that most of these videos. Dollar five! Woo! I'm rich now. Alright, Theros Pack One. God's willing. Messy and Corsair. I swear it was the same as the last week. That just seems so familiar. Boulder Fall, Sedge Scorpion, Last Breath, Scourge Mark. Pretty neat artwork. Really bright red there. I think that might be a cool foil too. Grip Tide, Satyr Hedonist, Satyr Rambler, Leon and Snare Caster. And our first uncommon's Peak Eruption. Ordeal of Nailia, another set of enchantment type cards that I really love. These Ordeal cards, super awesome. So this one specifically is a two drop. And I'm super frustrated at my camera. I thought I had it fixed. And I don't know, it's really weird too. Like, so I'm gonna cut off real quick. I set my camera up in the same position essentially whenever I did these videos and the lighting only changes occasionally, but it's the same lighting I've been having for the most part all week or anytime I do a video and I just don't know why it's it's taken away from the 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 atmosphere here like I'm just not seeing these cards that's much better I mean, we'll just go with that all right so two drop enchantment aura enchant creature whenever enchanted creature attacks put a one one counter on it so as soon as it attacks the counter triggers goes on to it then if it has three or more one one counters on it sacrifice the ordeal of Nylia Nylia uh, when you sacrifice the Ordeal of Nylea, Ny 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 search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. So, if you like this type, it gives you lands to put on the battlefield when you have counters. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be counters given to the creature by this, but if it already had counters on it, you swing with it the first time you play, put it on there, gets another counter, has three counters, sack that, go get two lands. Not bad, not bad at all. And so there's white, and there's black, there's uh, red and blue um, Ordeals types of enchantments and I have the white one I think that one gives you 10 life whenever you get to three counters pretty nice <clears throat> so we got prowler's helm you know quick creature can't be blocked except by walls nice and our rare is another artifact what are you the a crow and horse got a couple of these guys four drop crow and horse defender when a crow and horse enters the battlefield an opponent gains control of it. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent puts a 1-1 white soldier creature token onto the battlefield. <clears throat> that means if you get it, then your opponents, which would be me giving you that card, I get another creature. So essentially, you get a hold of this on the battlefield, and if it's on the battlefield, you, you keep feeding me 1-1 one, one creatures. Kind of a jank way to load up creatures, but it works to an extent, I guess. And a sweet land card, and a sweet token. Cool to love me them tokens. Alright. Pack number two, Theros. Viper's Kiss. Lightning Strike. Classic Lightning Strike. Can't go wrong with that. Opalin Unicorn. Staunch Hearted Warrior. Feral Invocation. Fate Foretold. Thassa's Bounty. Lagona Band Elder. Priest of Erois. Fade to into Antiquity. And we got Kragma Warcaller. I think I got that last week. Seems familiar. Dissolve. Warrior's Lesson, and Thassa, look at that! 
The last time we did the same thing. This one we got Thassa God of the Sea. Uh, legendary enchantment creature god. Mythic rare. Three drop. Indestructible. As long as your devotion to blue. Let me get in there a little bit. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. As long as your devotion to blue is less than five. Thassa isn't a creature. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Pay two. Target creature control can't be blocked this turn. So there's the good old classic Thassa right there. Thassa. Thassa. How do you pronounce it? Um, I like the one that's out right now. She's dirty, dirty, dirty. But I've got a deck that I put together. Um, it's pretty nasty. You might have seen it. Maybe. And a land and a filler card. What did we get for Thassa? God of the Sea. Let's see what the original Thassa is worth. Hmm. I would scan. I guess I could scan it. I mean, if my scanner will work, right? 1615. Man, can't beat that. Got a, got a, I've gotten a god card out of the first one and a god card out of the second one. So keep them coming. Keep them god cards coming. All right. <clears throat> On to Journey into Nyx. Let's see what kind of cool stuff comes out of this one. God Hunter Octopi, Rouse the Mob, Font of Vigor, Vigor, Oaken Heart Dryads, Feast of Dreams, Hubris, Font of Fire, Fonting, we're Fonting, Blood Crazed Hoplite, Oreska Swift Claw, War Wing Siren, we got Hour of Need, First Uncommon, Reprisal, Felhide Petrifair, Petrifair, and... Extinct, extinguish all hope. Six drop sorcerer. Destroy all non-enchantment creatures. So if you're playing a lot of non-enchantment creatures, you can board wipe except for yours. So that's kind of nice. Planes and a filler card. All right. Last pack for this. This week's Journey into Nyx pre-release kits. Returned Reveler. Countermind, there's that bolt again. Pensive Minotaur. I think I've got a place out of these guys now. Armament of Nyx. Font of Fertility. Rotted Hulk. Cast into Darkness. Get out of here. Supply Line Cranes. Rise of the Eagles. Excellent foil, by the way. Satyr Grove Dancer. Thought Trender Lamia. Fleet Feather Cockatrice. Riptide Chimera, and our uh, rare is Skybind. It is a five-drop enchantment constellation. Constellations are cool because of what do they do? Whenever Skybind or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, exile target non-enchantment permanent. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Cool. And we've got a mountain and a neat old Sphinx token. Look at that. I like those. Those are kind of neat. So there you have it. Um, we'll check Extinguish All Hope and Skybind, but I doubt. I know Extinguish All Hope, Skybind not worth anything. And Extinguish All Hope, pretty sure is needed. Well, there you have it. There is week two of our five part series for Journey to, into Nyx pre release kits. Um, hit that like button, make a comment. Comment whatever you want about the video. If you liked it, you didn't like it, how bad my lighting is. I know I'm working on it. I'm sorry. Sometimes things just don't work out in my favor. And we just got to roll with the punches. Um, but do all those things. Get yourself ready for a drawing in a couple weeks. And good luck to the most, to, the, to all of you. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. I believe it is doo -doo 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 -doo, Forged in Tyranny for the Swamps. So we'll see you then. Deuces.